situation, no problem, you know what I mean? <laughs> you know, I always really wanted to be here, you know, even though we went through our, our phase, we went through our fork in the road, we back here together, you know, we started this family, and I want to continue on with this. That's I'm not right. going to go on anywhere. I think we need to highlight the good as well as the bad. Um, I know a lot of times we use people as examples uh, of what not to do, but I am a huge advocate. And when I say huge, I am a massive advocate for people putting their families back together. I say it all the time. I say it in these live streams. Often at times you hear me say it on Wednesday night. I say it on Instagram. It is nothing out here for y'all in these streets. Let me say that again. It is nothing out here for y'all, especially for the women. For the men, too. I'm going to speak on both. For the women, I say it all the time because we know that women on a regular basis, and I don't know their situation, and you know that I always like to give credit to the content creators. So I'll always link back to what is happening in the description of the video. Uh, so y'all can go and check that out if y'all are interested. Um, but for the women... We know that the majority of the time that they initiate the divorce. Now, I will add a caveat in there and say that just because the women initiate the divorce, they file for the divorce in the, uh, the majority of the time, uh, it could be uh, both of their fault as to why the marriage dissolved or it could be her fault or it could be his fault um, because sometimes the breakdown of it happens way before the woman or the man files for it. And so the filing of the divorce is just a formality. But regardless, if you have children, and this is the biggest thing, and I've seen a little man in this video uh, back here. Let me see if I can rewind it. It looked like a little man might have went in the bathroom in the car. In the green shorts. Dude was probably praying for his family to get back together. Y'all got all of these kids and it's still young dudes and stuff like that. And young guys, I don't know if they got any girls. I don't know what their situation is, but you know, I don't want to see families broken up. And the reason why I say that is because, you know, once the children get grown, if y'all have just completely grown apart, which chances are, if y'all been together for that long uh, and you only stayed for the kids, you still found reasons to be together. And so it's something there. People don't just sleep in the same house only because of the kids in most situations. I'm not saying all, but in most situations, people don't uh, stay together just for the kids. But especially if you have young children, right? And I'm talking about anybody under the age of 18, 19 years old. If you still have young kids, then you really have to be mindful. It is not cool to just walk away from your family. It is not cool to just be filing for divorce. Because now you are creating a situation that is not best for them. And when you have children, they don't they didn't ask to be here. You know, I'm very, very thankful for the family that I was raised in. And I'm very blessed because I don't come from a broken household. Um, you know, my family was very much together. And I had a great relationship with my mother and my father, uh, as well as my brothers as we were growing up. And so that was one of the things that really kept me. Um, as far as the the ability to stay together and ability to, to do the thing that's in the best interest of the children, which I then, you know, did the same thing for my daughter because I wanted to make sure that she had the best opportunity possible to be successful when she grew up. And she's very much grown up in a very strong household that um, I think that has impacted her in a very, very positive way. And so because I know what those experiences look like and I know what that experiences carry long term and we also have statistics and data to be able to lean into as to, you know, how that plays out in people's people's lives. We know that children that are raised in two parent households often at times are less likely to go to jail, much more likely to be successful and make more money, less likely to be dependent on 
Uh, other people in need therapy, less likely to join gangs, influenced by other people, all of that, because they have both the dynamics of the mother and the father in the household. And, you know, if y'all are going to be, be together and it looks like 10 years, I don't know what the heck could have happened as far as a fork in the road with 10 years. Maybe they wasn't mature enough or whatever, or they got emotional or whatever. Hopefully, hopefully uh, she didn't get with nobody or or chill with nobody or be with anybody or anything like that um but the point is is that i always say go back to your baby denny that is one of my slogans i've said it on monday nights i've said it on other platforms but i always say regularly go back to your baby daddy don't nobody want to be no step baby daddy go and get the original father and fix it Fix it. Put your kids in the best position possible um, and go back with the original father. Ain't nobody trying to be no step crash dummy and be taking care of somebody else's kids because you emotional. Get out of here with that. That's that's gone. And so when I see it happen, I'm going to give the same energy as I do as far as holding the people accountable because I'm an equal accountability partner and smoke giver. And so I got to give credit where credit is due. Shout out to them for putting their family back together. So shout out to everybody for being excited as a result of it. Uh, I've seen families get back together before, and it is probably better than the first time of people getting married. Because when you see people get married the first time, or you see people get together a lot of times, and they wind up having children and all of that stuff, in a lot of instances, especially when they of a certain age, you can pretty much tell whether or not it's going to make it or not. You know what I'm saying? If people be going to the wedding in order to get the free food and they be already predicting what's going to happen and stuff. And sometimes they be right. A lot of times they be right. And y'all wind up spending a whole bunch of money on a ceremony that is probably not even going to last or anything like that. Um, it's, it's just an interesting dynamic. You know what I'm saying? So uh, congrats to them. Congrats to the family. Uh, again, I always like to give credit to the content creators and hopefully I got it right. Shout out to y'all for sending it to me. Make sure y'all tap into the Patreon the link is in the description. We got stock club coming up on Monday, right after the live stream. And, um, we got after hours tonight, so that should be fun. Uh, maybe I'll introduce this topic to them and then get their thoughts on it also. And I cannot wait to see y'all in the comments to see what y'all got to say, because, Y'all got a lot to say and a lot of smoke when it comes to holding people accountable and simping and hoes for the streets and stuff. All right, so we're going to add in, and I'm going to throw a cur curveball in there, and I want to see what y'all's sentiment is when it comes to people putting their families back together, um, especially when you get past a certain age, because it's going to get harder. Ladies, don't be disillusioned. Don't be confused. It gets harder as you get older. When you have children and you also don't have a father in the household, it is getting tougher and tougher and it's getting harder for people to be able to live and survive um, in this economy. So I'm curious as to what y'all thinks. So make sure y'all sure let me know inside of the comments. I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. I'm out.